Hi, welcome back to uh, another episode. I think we're up to episode four now. Um, I thought today we'd do something, um, and for the next few videos, uh, in a slightly different style, and the videos would be a little bit shorter because the pa paintings were a little bit shorter. Um, so I did a series of three um, kind of demons um, that were inspired initially by a draw in your a draw in your style type. Um, I don't know what you call them, uh, task, event. <laughs> so uh, I, w I follow an artist called Dave Greco, who is um, just an amazing artist. And w a video that he did a little while ago was um, a painting your style from somebody that he was um, following called Kathpan on Instagram. So this this painting is a, a my version of those of those paintings. Um, and it's just, as uh, Dave said in one of his videos, drawing in your style is quite a good thing to do if you're not sure what to, to paint or draw, or you just want to um, you know, try something that's a bit new and a bit different. Um, so I had a go at doing that, and, and this is the painting. And then that led me on to um, be inspired to do a series of paintings um, of kind of demons or creatures um, that were in taken from a colour. So this one became white and I got a kind of purple one and an orange one. And um, I can talk about those um, in the next couple of videos. But this video is quite a short one. It's probably less than 10 minutes. Um, and I'll play through for you and you can see how I, how I created this um, painting. Okay, so I just started off constructing um, the head with uh, the sort of standard type proportions that you might find on the internet to help you kind of splitting the face into halves and thirds and drawing the um, features onto those onto those portions uh, and now I'm going through getting my rough line drawing like I have a few times um, in the last videos and then over the top of that just uh, make it a little bit opaque start a new layer and then put uh, a more refined drawing on the top so I'm just trying to find the lines, trying to find the shapes, and I'm referring back to the original pictures that were inspiring this, the drawing your own style picture from uh, Kath Pan, which was this kind of demon girl with a black visor on and some black horns. And I'm just going through trying to find some hair shapes and some rough sort of values, and then flatten it down again and, and draw a another layer. So every time you can see these three three drawings that I've done so far, they each one does get a little bit better, each one gets a bit more interesting, um, the shapes get a little bit more refined. So this this kind of repeated process of draw a new layer, um, for add some detail, you know, uh, make it opaque again, uh, or slightly less opaque, then draw another layer, and so on and so on and so on, until you get um, a really nice drawing. So I'm laying over some colour there to uh, just take the harsh black off the draw line drawing and now I'm painting just directly on top um, of the original drawing quite loosely and uh, this this painting didn't take very long and I, and I wanted to sort of keep it very loose and free so that I could explore the brush marks a little bit see what was the minimal amount of stuff that I would need to communicate an idea uh, and then you also find that you stumble across different colours when you have these colours laying on top of each other and then you're colour picking directly from them. You can find some interesting colours that you might not find uh, if you were just going along through the actual colour picker or the colour tool rather than trying to pick out the mixed colours that you that you found. So at this point I was quite happy with the, with the design and the colours and it had a nice feel, especially in the hair, I quite like that. So now I'm trying to put on the the mask, or my version of the mask that was on the original drawing, and it wasn't quite working out for me, so I thought, okay, well, I'll just go to another part of the painting, work on that for a little bit, and I'll come back to the, the mask, and we'll see how that, that goes in a little bit of time. So there you can see it's changing, where I'm just changing the entire um, colour balance of the, of the piece together, making it a bit darker, brighter, just playing with it a bit to see where I can get a nice um, balance. Uh, working across the hair now, I'm trying to put in little, little bits and pieces and now I'm going back again to this sort of trying to get back to what, what can she be wearing, 
Um, the original one had these black visors and black necklaces and things like that, so I was trying to explore that, but again, it wasn't quite working out, so I was, okay, no problem, let's go to another part of the painting, that's the best attitude, rather than getting stuck on something for a very long time and then not getting anywhere. If you've had a few goes at it and it's not quite working out, just move on to another part of the painting. Um, so that's what I did here, and I'm just going through, adding some finer details into the eyebrows, in the hair, giving it a bit more a uh, sense of volume by adding some shadow and light and now I'm back again to these this band you know how can I get these bands and then I stumbled across oh, actually it's working quite well if rather than wearing something it's kind of paint it's as though it's painted onto her skin like she has a kind of a war paint um, and that actually had a much much better feel for this particular um, painting so I was quite pleased that I'd stumbled across it but again that was sort of the third fourth fifth go at doing it um, so don't don't be afraid to leave something uh, and then come back to it. And I'm trying to put these dribbles of paint coming down her cheek. I can't remember if I kept those actually, but that was the idea behind that. Um, and now going back through and just trying to add in some, some darker darks to sort of bring out some of the lights around her neck. A bit of reflected light underneath uh, her neck there. Um, but I quite, I quite, at this point we're, get, we're getting towards the end where I wanted it to be quite loose uh, and not a very sort of fine zoomed in and, and as I said in my other pictures I'm trying to stay zoomed out as much as possible. Going through, she had black, dark black horns on the actual inspired, the, the picture that inspired it but I quite like this sort of white silvery kind of colour that, that she had. So I, I moved away from the black horns and I've gone more into this kind of light purpley lavender type colour. Um, I'm just putting in some shapes, some basic shapes just to con to sort of complement the, the simple line work I've got there rather than paint over the top of it. Um, and yeah, you can see how loose a lot of the brushwork is, especially along around the body. It's just very you know, scratchy and scribbled on. In the hair, there's a lot of that. Um, I've got rid of some lines, kept others, um, but it's all very, very loose and um, sketchy. And I, I really like that about this painting, that was what I was trying to go for, I didn't want to overdo it, um, which I sometimes do when I'm painting, I kind of put too much in to small little areas and, and focus in too much. Right now I think I'm just adding, changing the, I changed the overall lightness of the piece and we're here, we're back um, where we started and we've, we've finished it. So I really, I really enjoyed making this one and it's a really good um, suggestion in terms of just, if you're not sure what to do, like I've talked about before, just do something. Um, and a good, a good uh, small project to do is, is do a drawing your own style. So pick an artist that you like, go onto Instagram, wherever you go for your inspiration, look at some pictures and think, oh, I'd like to have a crack at that one and I'll do it in my own style and just start. And that will that will help. This ended up being quite a lot different to the originals um, that I'd looked at, and it led on to me painting another two. Um, I think I will return to it and do some more of these as well. Um, so yeah, next next video I'll show you maybe. I think the purple one was the next one I did. So we'll start with the, we'll start with that next week. Okay, thanks again for coming, and I hope you found this interesting. Leave a like um, if you liked it, and a comment. Um, would be really appreciated and subscribe because uh, that will help me get a sense of who's watching um, if anyone. All right. Thank you. Bye.